Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing well. So uh, recently I uploaded this video where I mentioned how I got a 10 SD offers for 3 UOE. I explained all the resume rounds and all the different details and uh, everyone really liked this video. So uh, I wanted to and I also got comments on creating a separate video on how my resume look and how are different patterns and also going into details of all the different sections, right? So I have decided to make a new video. Uh, this video will be regarding the resume. The resume that got me 10 offers and also nonetheless 10 plus rejections, right? It's not always that you will get selected in any companies, right? And so this is specifically for 3OE and all the offers that I got was 35 plus LPA, right? Uh, and many were more than this, but this is the starting from the lowest one, right? Uh, now, uh, in this video, I'll, I'll stick to the resume. So these are the four sections that I'm going to discuss. Resume format, resume sections, resume customization, resume length, right? So before we get started, uh, first of all, I would like to say thanks to everyone who watched this video. And if you have not watched, I'll attach the link to this. Uh, please watch this first. This has all the details and there is no of nothing crazy about it all the knowledge that i have i'm sharing plain and simple from one engineer to another aspiring of already or already experienced engineer right and uh, and i was i want to i want to say thanks to people who have already watched it so i got 60 likes so that's like the most like on my channel so thank thanks to everyone and and also i saw that there are metrics that not many people have subscribed to this channel, so please feel free. If you like the video, please feel free to give a subscriber. Uh, that kind of helps the channel and also it will help this video reach to many other people. And uh, so uh, now coming back to this video, right? So uh, I also want to share where my resume got selected and where I appeared, right? Some of the companies because I, I gave interview at many companies. But some of the companies, so I've created this light, nice little short and crisp image. So resume shortlisted at all these companies and selected by these things. And I have been rejected by Google, Amazon, Uber, Oracle, UB. Most of the companies were my mistake. I'll be creating a separate video as well. And other time there was luck factor involved as well, right? So when I appeared for Uber, I was relatively, that was my first company that I gave interview at after two to three years, which is not a good thing because Uber, I should have targeted it in the end. I would have performed better there. Uh, so this, I'll, I'll go into details later in separate videos, but the main idea of this thing is just to give you a gist of where the resume got shortlisted, right? Uh, cool. So coming back to the resume format, right? So first thing first, the resume format, right? So I followed this format of plain and simple one page resume. This is specifically for three OE, right? So I followed that. This I like uh, a lot. It's plain and simple. In college, I had a different uh, two column one, but I think one column one makes sense here, right? So I use that one. Earlier, I had a two column one. I did not get much calls. I think it looked a little bit uh, not that easy to read. This is much better. So without wasting any time, I'll go to my resume, right? I'm not going to take this resume to explain. I'll use my resume as well. So, okay. So this is my resume. Uh, I have shared my LinkedIn links as well. So, but just for simplicity purpose, I have hidden this uh, details. So what would go here is your name and then some your email, mobile number and your LinkedIn and GitHub links, right? And lead code link also you can attach if you have solved good number of problems and you have good rating, right? Those are the two things that should go on the top. Make sure it is clean. Don't put any other stuff, right? Like um, lead uh, email, phone number, LinkedIn and GitHub. I think these are good enough, right? You don't need to put anything else. You can also put it to your address, probably Bangalore or uh, that is also good. That also should be there, right? uh make it clean right don't put uh, single line is enough right so coming to the skill section so the skills i have kept on the top you can keep work experience also on the top uh, but i have kept skills so i have mentioned all of these skills where i have worked heavily right and also uh, some of the systems like distributed microservices all these of things i have also mentioned right 
and then soft skill i mentioned leadership team management i have also kind of worked as a pseudo project project manager whatever right collaboration between the team so i have mentioned that as well right so make sure to keep this also clean but make sure to keep two segregation technical skills and soft skills right and then uh, when when you go to work experience right so in so this is my first section right Com so format we have covered right and uh, this for this is the format that i use and uh, resume sections so this is the resume section so uh, nothing fancy here but you put your work experience and your title and then your what what things that you worked at right and always i think you might everyone might know that it is always good to quantify that the things right if you don't know these numbers think through it like uh, created a notification library that was used in 30 plus microservices and it kind of reduced the maintenance and effort time right so this i had to think through this how much time it saved and that's where i uh, this number originated right and i also have a text tech section right so there are a lot of people who sell these kind of resumes for 100 rupees for 200 rupees right i don't want to do such thing i think this kind of knowledge is should be free of knowledge so that's why i'm sharing this uh, uh my resume itself right so uh i don't think i need to go at all like one by one i can share this in my chat but i can kind of explain this one once to let the development of client facing status page to publicly communicate the status of 100 api so we developed a poc kind of a status page to communicate the status of our api endpoints right which was mainly used for customer satisfaction right and uh, so that was this and then so this is the another thing where we and self integrated microservices for the self provisioning right so for example if we have to give an example of azure cloud right in azure cloud there are different services so for example uh, let's take an example of container apps right so you can do self provisioning of container apps right in the same way uh, there was a private cloud where you could now could do self provisioning of kafka private clusters right you don't need any human interfacing in that so that kind of accelerated the process by 90 percent right so these sort of things i have mentioned right and then you have software engineer one which i was fairly for like eight eight months so not much there but again the tech stack was different so i mentioned that and then there was the other intern experience right so you can see that gradually one one project two projects and then different different features within a project right so use chat chat gpt i know this numbers uh, it is tough to come by and tough to think through if you have these numbers uh, good enough if you don't have these numbers talk to chat chat gpt and uh, and then work together right but put it in a humanly like designed and develop i have not put like fancy words that um, orchestrated or like different different things right so keep it simple i would say uh, and then and then education section so as i had three years of experience i didn't put 10th because i didn't have much space 10th or 12th so uh, i think i have only put my bachelor's degree right that's it so technical skills work experience and then education and then these are the initiatives or projects so generally from your features i have put this initiatives and project sections right so this is like apart from my day-to-day -day work what other things that i did right so I, I I primarily work as a backend engineer, but I did uh, a UI modernization also of the complete end-to-end -end project, right? So I mentioned that and also built some utilities around that. So mentioned here, you can mention your personal projects also, then you probably keep this initiative out of this and put project there, right? And then uh, achievement sections I've also mentioned. So this IT challenge kind and also promotion that I got and uh, then in turn, so I was SD2 for like, I think three years. That was, I got SD2 within uh, nine months. That generally takes one to two years, right? One years if your team is good, two years if, two to three years if your team is okay. And then in turn of the month, I was awarded. And then also I am, I had like 900 plus rating at lead code, right? These kind of metrics are good to put on the resume. Lead code, it's okay. If your rating is lead, doesn't matter like i don't think recruiters know about this also right 
so sometimes they ask but if you don't don't wait right one of the mistakes that i, I have made and personally see a lot of people make that say okay i'll become a knight on lead code and then i'll start applying no don't 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 do that that's the that's the saddest and the saddest thing that you can do right so this this is my resume right a plain and simple see how readable it is right you use bold collects and plain and simple right nothing fancy simple keep things simple right uh, then resume customization no right i never did it so let's say no uh, people say that okay if you're applying to google or any open no like so i'll say apply to th thousands of openings right hundreds of openings that's it uh, that's the advice that i would give it is a slow process right think of it as a journey marathon rather than like a sprint right that's what i would say like if you already have a three years of experience you can see that oh, you have already been here for 36 months right now think of it that you have 12 months right 48 months in that you you apply to openings right don't think you have to make a switch in one month or stuff like that take your time apply to openings see use a resume if you get calls then that means your resume is okay it's just that there are a lot of people right uh, i'll create a separate video on what all tools that i use to specifically apply but this is majorly on how to create how to craft your resume right resume length i think one page is good enough one page uh, people use two page also but i think one page is good enough for uh three oi i don't think you need to go more than that uh, more than that so one page uh, i would say is good enough right resume sections as we discussed we have uh, skill sections right and work experience just reiterating over those uh, and then uh, education projects and achievements right um, overleaf overleaf take resume I'll add this link in the chat, right? So this is what I followed. I, nothing fancy there, right? Plain and simple. Uh, I know that sometimes you might feel that you are not getting called, but apply to more jobs, right? That's what I would say. No one's resume is fancy. No one, you might feel that, okay, I, I don't have this thing on my resume. I don't have this thing on my resume. It could be possible, but is it in your hand, right? So for example, my college is a private college, VIT Valor, but it is a Oakage college, right? Nothing fancy, but yeah, could come in tier two. It's not a tier three, right? It's a tier two. So a tier three college guy would say that, okay, that's a tier two college. And Cisco is also Oakage company. It's not a bad company. It's a great company, I would say. Um, the money wise, maybe not top notch, but not, not at all top notch, but it's a great company, right? The money is not everything. So uh work culture is awesome people are awesome right those things matters and i think it's a known company right so maybe that might be a factor that i got so many calls but uh if you don't have that what what can you do right nothing you can do you can't go back and change your college you can't go back and change your work experience right so live with it apply that's the only thing that is in your control if you're not applying then you are kind of putting obstacles in your own way that's like two minutes of him. I can stay here and say a lot of things, but I don't want to make this video long. Also, if you guys like this video, please feel free to subscribe. And before you subscribe, please feel free to give me any advice in comment section. If you have anything that uh, you want me to cover, uh, I'll be creating separate videos on this. And uh, I would like to say one thing. If I can crack these offers, if I can crack these companies, you can also do it. You just need to put the hours right don't look at a shortcut don't look at that i need to do it in this time frame just trust the process right i am no uh, genius here and no one working in that company is a genius right believe that you can do it if i can do it you can do it uh, thank you have a nice day bye